Hey guys, Joseph and Shiva here, and today I'm back here with a prediction video. Sorry about this, guys, but apparently <laughs> I wasn't able to come back. So apparently you guys may be wondering, Jose and I, where have you gone? Where have you been? <laughs> where have you gone? Well, basically, I'm going to explain this. I've been busy, like, with school. I've been very, very, very busy with school. And apparently, since I was busy with school, I haven't had, like, enough time to, like, make a video. So, for almost, a, like, a few weeks, I've taken a, taken a break from it. So, apparently, now I'm back here with another video. So, today, for this video, we're going to do a prediction. Sorry about that, but... So, today, we're basically going to do a prediction on Miles versus Static Chalk. Now... Between this, I'm not a fan of this matchup, in my opinion. I guess some people, like, are a fan of this matchup. But for me, I feel like I wanted Miles vs. Deku more than Miles vs. Static Shock because of one reason. I've wanted that one so badly because I have discussed it, like, once on my debating. I once debated on my on this channel. I did it with my younger brother with Kiko. I did it with Kiko on this channel, so... Apparently, maybe if you guys want to go check that out. It's very long, though. Okay, so... When it comes to these two, do I know these two? Well, yes. Miles, I have actually known him since... Um, I've read Ultimate Spider-Man. I did not read Amazing, but I have read Ultimate, from what I've read. And I have seen he was basically the Spider-Man from Earth 1610. If I remember correctly, I think that, yeah, I think that's basically the Earth he's from. And apparently, I know both of their backstories. Miles became it because he got bit by the spider, the same spider that bit Peter Parker. He ended, then, what happened was Peter Parker ends up dying from the, from the Green Goblin. Ultimate Green Goblin. Now, in the comics, he died from the Goblin. In the movies, he dies from Kingpin. Well, Static, I know his origin. He, he basically got his powers from, like, a... Not mist, but it was something that the cops placed through, which was supposed to be tear gas, but ended up giving him superpowers. So... That's what he had from. And now... Since let's enough rambling, I've seen Miles since Ultimate Spider-Man, and I have seen... Since his Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, and I have seen him in Spider-Verse. I recommend you guys go watch that film. It's very good. Because it's a masterpiece. So, when it comes to Static, I don't know that much about Static, but however, I actually had to do some research on this, based off, like, what I've heard about other people's predictions. I've actually done some research on this, in my opinion, so I think of why I think it's gonna win. So, let's think, do this. So, for, without further ado, let's explain. Now, for my prediction of who I think is gonna win this death battle will be... Drumroll, please. Miles Morales! Okay. So, originally, I was gonna go with Static Shock at last, but at the last minute... I changed my mind on this. Well, that's because I want Marvel to, like, win in this battle. Seriously, Marvel needs to get a win. But I don't want Static to lose because I like... Okay, I like both. But I feel like Miles is still gonna win. Now, let me explain why. I believe Miles would win because he's a lot faster. Because he scales to Peter Parker. In combat speed, Peter was fast enough to catch up to Deadpool and Captain America. While, while Miles, in speed, he is comparable to Peter Parker. Heck, he dodged a web from Peter Parker. We've seen him dodge a web from him. And e even though Static has taken down the entire Justice League just by himself... Okay, sorry, so back to what I was saying. Sorry if I got caught a little off. Go get my water bottle. So apparently... Even though Static has taken down the entire Justice League by himself, Miles' Venom Blast is extremely powerful. Heck, he used that to take out Ultimate Blackheart. Now, this Blackheart may not be as powerful as his 
you know, his regular version, his 616 counterpart. That was very impressive for Miles to just beat Blackheart by himself with the Venom Blast. And yes, Static can use electricity and absorb Miles' electricity. And he would have a counter for Miles' invisibility, but I feel like Miles' webbing will probably get, get into Static before he could, before Static could hit him. So, and not to mention, Miles is actually faster than Static. Sure, Miles can actually react in a microsecond. Apparently, according to, like, Kamala Khan, when he was dodging, um, was it a rob- I think it was some robots they were fighting, and then while he was fighting, they were fighting Kamala, she calculated his speed. So Miles' speed is like a microsecond. And I don't think Static's gonna actually touch him. Who, but, I don't know, but who cares? Prove me wrong, okay? So, that's what I'm gonna have to say for today, guys. So apparently, that's literally what I'm gonna say, so let me tell you something I wanted to do. So basically, I will probably react to- I am actually gonna react to this tomorrow. I have to say tomorrow- I say tomorrow because they changed the schedule! Why did you change the schedule from Wednesdays to Mondays? <laughs> now tomorrow is when Miles vs. Static Shock comes out. So apparently, let me know in the comments down below. Who do you think is gonna win? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with others. This is George Tony Chiba, I'll see you guys next time. Later! Also, there's one thing that Miles can do that Static can't do. It's the shoulder touch.